What's up? I know it's been a good little minute. I'm like two days off from um, from Monday. Well, no, it's Tuesday, and I'm dropping this tonight. So I'm only. Bad. Sorry, um, we're doing new information right now, and um, it's like half of the wing is doing it, so I have it tomorrow. But yeah, so this video should be uploaded today. Yeah, today. Um, I always seem to like to lose track of what I'm saying, but um, so this video, because of my title, I'm gonna be talking about um, what got me into Yusafa. Um, a lot of people are requesting, like, you know. Like my stats my sat gpa like all that stuff that got me here and um i will disclose it i usually don't tell people my like my stats because you know i don't know i usually don't but hey i'll do it for you too do it for the people but um you know let's get started if you guys like see me like looking around i'm just looking like for like the library people because they usually like come in and like tell me to put my mask on I'm by myself in a little cubicle, so it shouldn't be a problem, but they um they usually get on me about that, or get on everyone about that. I really hope the band doesn't, isn't too loud. I say like a lot. I'll try not to say like for the rest of the video, but I'm going to start with SAT. So I took the SAT three times. Um, two free and then one I paid for because I was I had to increase my score um, the first time I took it I took it in 10th grade and I received uh, 1110 and I was pretty happy I'm like wow no studying no nothing I, I got a 1110 pretty pretty chill so I got you know I didn't I took it again and then I didn't study I'm like you know what I'm smart you know the Lord's got me and I got the exact same score I'm like, wow, okay, cool. I have to study. So for my third um, SAT, I studied not vigorously. I studied for like a couple of weeks and um, I got a higher score. I got a higher math score, but a lower, but a lower um, reading score, reading comp score. And I did that on purpose. This is why. So I know that at Academy, they care about super scoring like that. Like they will take, I said like, they will take your super score. So meaning your highest score from one composite plus your highest score from another composite. And that gives you your, um, your they combine it <laughs> to make a total. You wanna wave at the camera? <laughs> Okay, I'm back. That was um, <clears throat> one of my friends. <sighs> As I was saying, um, they take your composite, meaning the biggest scores of all the SATs you've taken. For instance, if I took a SAT, Couple, like a year back, you know, and I got a 12-10. And my math score was a 5-10, and then my reading was a 7-10. It's a 12-10. And then let's say I take it, I take it again last month. I got my test results back. And I received a 12-10 again, but my math was a 6-10, and then my reading was a 600. So my math went up 110 points, and then my reading went down 600 points. Right, they're gonna combine my highest composite for reading, which is seven ten, with my highest composite for math, which is six ten. So that is six plus seven is a thirteen twenty. For so from a twelve ten to a thirteen twenty, so they take your highest composite score. So I kept. I was mindful of that. <laughs> I was mindful of that, and. I didn't really put a lot of focus into my reading the third time I took it. I put all my focus into my math. And my math went from a 510 to a 550, I believe, which to me was like a, a, a very, very huge margin. So my composite came out to be uh, an 1150 from 1110 from my lowest one score, and it went up to 1150. So that's the SAT part of it. 
So my ACT was 1150 coming to the academy. Um, my ACT was kind of a different story. Um, I took it twice. The first time I took it, I took it in 10th grade. And I just took it out of spite. I just wanted to see how it was. Plus, it was free. Um, I didn't study at all. And I didn't really understand the pace of the ACT. And um, yeah, I got starstruck. And I had to like bubble in, I had to so like again, I had to bubble in a lot of answers. So I just was bubbling stuff in like towards the end of the test. So I got a 19 and I took it again my sophomore, not sophomore, senior year because I was, uh, my ACT wasn't, wasn't too great. I'm like, you know what? Let me just take the ACT again. So I took it again and I think the ACT is one of the reasons why I got to the prep school. Another, another reason why I even got looked at again so my ACT composite went from a 19 to a 25 24 25 I know it's not that huge of a not that huge but to me it was kind of big this is why um for my reading like I said before I'm good at reading I suck at math my reading was like a 29 30 ish something like that right and my math was like a 21 20 21 Something like that. So my reading was substantially higher than my math. And I'm sure the academy was like, wow, he's really good at reading and composition, but he is terrible at math. Wow, well, okay, cool. So I think it's one reason why I got to the academy or got, or got to the prep school because, you know, I was deficient and I was very deficient in, in math. Um, so that's ACT. So my ACT composite was 28. Oh, not 28, but 25, 24, and my SAT was 1150. So, next thing is GPA. My GPA when I was applying to the academy was a 4.06, so like a 4.0, whatever. 4.06, which I began, began my senior year at a 4.06, and at the end of my senior year, I barred up to a 4.2, I believe. I think that was so long ago. 4.1, 4.2. I barred up to that. And I was number six in my class. Yeah, my school was kind of competitive. Like, everyone in the top ten were, like, all four O's. Like, we were all, like, bunched together. I was probably, like, 0 0.01 or 0 0.02 away from the, from the valedictorian. So, yeah, everyone was pretty close together. And the GPA, I'm pretty sure the GPA played a big part of, um, of, you know, my application because the average for like 75 percentile is um 3.87, and I'm at a 4.1, 4.06. Um, so that kind of brought me up a little bit, application wise, and um, it's also good to take a lot of, you know, advanced courses, like beginning from ninth grade. Um, I was in, well, I didn't do an AP in ninth grade, actually. I took courses in middle school, high school courses in middle school, that kind of like bumped me up a little bit. But I took, after ninth grade, I took AP courses like all through, all through um, college. And I also did some dual enrollment courses. Um, I, I was about a course or two away from my associates, but I didn't really, I didn't really do much. I didn't really pursue it, my associates that much. I wasn't really, I wasn't really, you know, tripping about it because I knew they wasn't gonna take most of my credits here anyway. So I just didn't put that much time into it. Plus, I was, I was kind of lazy. So doing the moment and um, the rigor of your courses actually really help a lot. Like let's say someone has a 4.0 and then all they take is like regular baby classes. And you have a 4.0 or 3.9 or 3.8 and you take an AP classes, you have more stain than them or stain. You have, you're more valuable than them to the academy. So, yeah. So SAT, ACT, GPA. Next is community service. So community service wasn't necessarily a requirement, but it was highly recommended. Um, I was in JROTC. I actually hate saying JROTC. Junior ROTC. So I had a lot of community service opportunities to like, you know, do and stuff. I um I think I had 220, I don't know, I don't remember, it was a long time ago. About two, 220 community service hours, 
Yeah, just around just around that. So I was way up there with community service. I was way up there, and I had like a sheet that allowed it all. So it was it was great. Yeah, it was community service. Get some, do some service for your community. So I covered SAT, SAT, GPA, community service, class rank. Um, another big thing that most people forget about is my actually just came out, but what's what most people forget about is personality like personality personality is a big part you literally get interviewed and the person who's interviewing you literally just tries to see who you are they're like a therapist they're like trying to like like break you apart they they actually evaluate you really well so they can tell if you're a bad person or if you don't care about much from that interview so my interview went pretty well um i kind of like vibe with the guy he vibe with me we were pretty we were pretty cool i promise i promise he's not frat <laughs> but if you know you know but yeah um yeah we were, we were he was he was a chill guy and my interview went pretty well a tip that i'll give anyone who's going to interview is um, don't hold anything back, you know, just like, if you ask your person a question, you know, just answer it truthfully, you know, don't try to like make stuff up either to like make yourself look good, but be truthful and put it all out, put it all out there and, you know, smile, you know, wear something nice because first impressions are the best impressions or lasting impressions. I think that's not the saying goes, but another thing, <clears throat> athletics. Um, so I ran track in high school for hmm, all high school, actually, and at all middle school. I didn't really do much my senior year, though, but you really need two years of, of, um, of a varsity sport. So I ran track for about three years, three and a half, give or take, you know. I started to focus a little bit more on RCC my senior year because I was a wing commander and I don't think that even played a big part because everyone here was a wing commander at their like or some leadership role, but leadership roles, you have that. If you're not an RTC, I guess you could community service kind of plays in for that. But yeah, but um, I was I was I lost train of thought. <laughs> yes, I ran track. Um, athletics is a big part. Also, make sure you do a varsity sport. It's not required. A kid from my, it's not, it is kind of required, but it's, I think it's highly recommended because a kid from my school got an appointment like years before me and he didn't do a sport and he still got it. So but he was, I don't know, whatever. But make sure you try to do a sport for at least a year, you know, to have some something to put on your um, application. And your CFA also plays a huge part of your, um, of your, you know, application. Um, my stats for that, I didn't do too hot. I took it three times. Well, I didn't finish the first two and I finished it a third time. Um, it was, you shouldn't compare to me, but I did 10 pull-ups and the minimum was eight, or the average was eight. Um, the basketball throw, I maxed it. The shoulder one, I maxed it. The push-ups, I did average. I think I did like 40 push-ups. Sit-ups, average did like 40, something like that. And then the run, I got a 747, something like that. So not the best, but it was good enough, I guess, to get you know picked up and looked at. So got SAT, ACT, GPA, community service, class rank, your personality, um, athletics, and uh, hmm, I got two more things. Okay, um, I'm going to wrap up here in a bit, but um, another thing that kind of played a, a, a little bit into my application was um, the Flight Academy Scholarship Program thing I got picked for um, my summer going to senior year. Basically, um, AFRTC, they selected 100 kids out of like 8,000 or whatever, 800 that applied. And I got selected and it was an eight week program at a, at a university. Um, I was at Liberty University. Other people were at other universities. And everyone's just texting today, oh my gosh. But um, 
I got I got selected eight weeks to get my PPL and I think their logic was if we freaking put in like 30k into this dude we better keep on the investment because we're not gonna have him go somewhere else and not use our money right or whatever so um, I think that's one of the reasons why I you know got looked at or whatnot and another thing that kind of plays a little bit is the district um, my district is kind of known for like academy people like kind of sort of like to put into perspective I'm here my cousin is here two other people that went to that are in my district or my not my my county actually I'm here my cousin is here two other people that are in my county are here um make that three actually and two graduated last class 20 so there's a lot of Clayton County people here so I think it kind of plays into into it also a little bit and um yeah so that's it talked about my SAT, ACT, GPA, community service, class rank, you know, overall personality, PPL, um, my district, and um, yeah. My stats were not, you know, at the academy's level. That's why I got into the prep school. Therefore, don't try to go to my standards. Go higher, so you can go direct, not the prep school. I love the prep school, but still, yeah. Aim higher. Peace out. <laughs> that was weird.